Hey, Naldo, do you know what type of crows are the best known to stick together? Velcros. Let's start the show. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of FYC Film Review. I'm your host, Gagne. With me, my partner, Naldo, who just loves the puns. How that are was you, a buddy? damn good one, man. Very good. Well done. Well done, sir. Well done, get that one. What's up, man? How's it going, everybody? Oh, we are all great because we are doing a classic. Yeah. Yeah, we are. I'm so happy you mentioned this movie, too, when we're texting. Uh, let's just get into it. The movie is The Crow. 1994's epic the crow an hour and what hour and two minutes. minutes rated yeah. r so happy we watched this so happy we watched this man yeah how long has it been since you last saw this it's maybe over 20 years 15 years maybe something like that yeah it's yeah. been a hot minute for sure um to the point that I was like super excited because things were coming back, but not everything. And so yeah, I yeah. felt excited to like, oh, I, I think I remember this scene, but not everything. Right. Um, yeah. Really, really happy we did it, man. I This is the first time director Alex Proyas, who's gone on to do a lot of big stuff, but at the time had not. Um, he's done Dark City since then and iRobot. Um, really, mm. really strong action director. Yeah. Um and what a performance by Brandon Lee, man. Uh, Rest in peace. Uh, uh, seriously. So good in this movie that it makes you sad <laughs> that this was it for him. Yeah. But what is it about the like Brandon Lee's such a great character? He I mean, he just he acts so well in this. But what is it about when an actor who does something really well and then the actor passes away, whether it be during the film or afterwards, kind of like Heath Ledger, that sure. just elevates the movie to a certain degree. I, I I don't know what it is. I mean, I would have loved to see Brandon Lee have a, a great career, and it's unfortunate what happened. But just by his passing and what he did with this movie, it just takes this movie to a whole other level. It's just unbelievable, I thought. Yeah, it's funny that you mentioned uh, Heath Ledger and the Joker, because there was a scene close to the finale where he walks into the the our bad guy who doesn't get named in this movie, but yeah, he, he walks in and, you know, all the gangsters are all lined up and they have this huge shoot up, but that is, that is almost shot for shot. It feels like, just like when the Joker meets yeah. everyone in the dark night and sits down in front of them and tells them he's taking all their money. And you just have this interaction where this fearless character walks in and, and, you know, is ready to just face whatever danger is coming his way. And <laughs> yeah, just uh goosebumps man and guess what we got ernie hudson in this i was i'm so i totally forgot ernie hudson was in this yeah absolutely see he's fantastic. more than just winston people he's more than just winston yeah what happened why didn't he get more parts man he he's great in this movie he's yeah. solid as the sergeant you know who is is there and helping and you know doesn't know what's going on he's he's commissioner gordon right like he's yeah he's, he's commissioner gordon yeah, yeah. Uh, he's at first tepid and doesn't know what this freak is doing and then next thing you know he's like you know what you're one of the good guys okay i get it yeah 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 man this movie is just it's so simplistic too it's about a, a couple who gets murdered right before halloween on mm -hmm. devil's night and the guy is mur he's, he's been dead for a year brandon lee and he comes back he comes back for one night to take revenge against the people that bait that murdered and raped his his wife and murdered him it was just it's just so simplistic, but it's done so well. The cinematography and this, the gothic looking, jumping over the buildings and the church and the, the the wide shot and the over. Oh, I'm telling you, man, this was such a treat, such a treat to watch again. It was. It's always fun to go back and watch a movie that you remember loving. Um, I was probably 13, 14 when I saw this movie and just like <laughs> yeah. thought it was so fucking cool. Uh, the soundtrack just, yeah. just hits. You got nine inch nails. Nine inch nails. Yeah. It's just, yeah. It, it it's dark and gothic and they did such a good job now that i know that this is a you know based off a graphic novel and really honing in mm -hmm. like that tone in this movie uh they wanted it to be black and white like the the actual comic was but they couldn't get the studio to sign off so the director literally made it very monochromatic so that yeah it gave that feel of of black and white without it being black and white and just little yeah, things okay. like that that attention to detail makes it stand out mm -hmm. like i i get a feeling that when the movie came out obviously the the sudden death probably elevated 
I think awareness to the movie and and interest in the movie for a lot of mm-hmm. people. But I also like to think that like this was just a good movie, and so people told people and people went out and saw it. You know, regardless of that, then we ended up with three really shitty sequels. Yeah, I'm we'll talking about those. Uh, <laughs> we <laughs> we don't talk exist. about those. Yeah, <laughs> they don't exist. One thing that stood out too was you know it just felt like a comic book come to life mm-hmm. in such a dark gritty world this this movie was just an awful world like who would want to live in this this city it was just run down fires yeah. everywhere you know murders happening and you get this one kid on her on her uh skateboard who you kind of latch on to because she's almost like the innocent person in this in this movie um i just just the whole look of the movie, just the whole feel of it, just it sucked me right into this. And I could not I could not look away. And every time Brandon Lee was on the screen, just like Heath Ledger was on the screen as a Joker, you could not look away. You wanted more of him. And what was great is you knew that he came back from the dead. So at one point, you're like thinking nothing's going to hurt this guy. This guy just got out for revenge. But then the, some, they somehow figure out a way to get to him by killing the crow or hurting mm-hmm. the crow, which I thought was so smart. Almost like his, it was his power, like what his he drew power from. Right, right. Yeah, was, yeah they yeah. capture the crow and then he's not in, right. invincible, I guess, anymore. So much, yeah, so much detail went into it that I I just, you can, it's a rewatchable movie. It's something that yeah. you can kind of find different things here and there. And there's, there's little gripes here and there. Like the first time he goes out uh, hunting one of these guys and he's got the guitar, I was kind of like, well, why has he got the guitar with him? Like, it's I like, thought that was just it, cool, man. Dude, <laughs> he picks up the where guitar. He strums just, it, where, yeah, 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 I was boy, like, yeah, man. Fun boy. Yeah. 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 Um, I, <laughs> I, at first I was like, why has he got the guitar? Is he going to hurt somebody with it? And he doesn't. But then, you know, later he's on, in a band, he's, man. Right, he's but later band. on he's playing on the rooftop and d- yeah. then destroys the amp and you're like, yeah, metal. Like, <laughs> I was like, okay, forget <laughs> it. I forgot all about the last scene that, that he was yeah. carrying around and didn't make sense. Um, yeah. I there were a couple things that <laughs> that I love the the scene that we've got behind us with, in the pawn shop. The uh, pawn the shop, great, yeah. Great character actor, but <laughs> when he shoots him and it doesn't work and he starts yelling shit on me, I'm like, who says that? Like. <laughs> says the word shit on me like just shit like shit on me <laughs> well i don't know dude it works it works there's something about the villains in the 90s okay i don't care what if you're a character villain or a main villain there was something about villains in the 90s that were just mean evil and dirty and they didn't care i feel like villains now are a bit more toned down but in the mm. 90s you just had these like crazy ass villains who did not care i mean our main villain in this like the main top villain is he a vampire? What what's his deal with taking people's eyes? He's married or he's like having this sexual relationship with this sister? sister? I mean, it's it's so gross. There's such just messed up. Definitely messed up. When they mentioned sister, it, I yeah. I laughed, like audibly laughed, and I forgot about that aspect. Uh the the wonderful Biling. Uh she's she's creepy <laughs> in this movie. Let's rate it. it. Yeah. All right. Let's do it. Uh, I think we're going to go with guitars because he was a rock star. All right. One to five. One guitar, bad. Five guitars. Great. You go first, man. Go for it. All right. Uh, I was very intrigued to watch this because they are making a remake that I'm not Mm. not super excited for. I hope they do a good job. But this one for me is just because of what happened to Brandon on set, you know, passing away because of... um, how unique it was when it came out at the time there there wasn't anything like this like there yeah it, this was this stood alone and and is still such a gritty dark movie that you're you're impressed that they were able to get this to the screen i love it man i'm i actually upped it i was three and a half i'm at a four i i mean i just <laughs> i think it's it's so rewatchable it's the <laughs> yeah. sweet spot of that out under an hour and 45 minutes good story okay. great action good acting good direction give yeah. me a four Give me a four guitar. Wow. Okay. It's funny that you just mentioned that because I'm not, we don't talk about our scores before we do this, but I had a three and a half before. But talking about it, man, it's a four. It's a really great, I'm going to go with four, four guitars, just like yourself, man. It's a, it's a great, great movie. And I'm so glad we watched this. I really am. But just, just spectacular. Kudos to Brendan Lee. Rest in peace. Just wonderful, wonderful. I just, I can't say enough good things about this movie right now. I'm so glad I watched this. Loving it. Four, four guitars for me. 
absolutely great i love that we were both at a three and a half and then talking about it just pushed it over <laughs> to a four for both of us because yeah. Like, yeah i i was right there i'll definitely be bumping this on you know my speakers all week long i i loved it i loved every <laughs> aspect of it and i look forward Nine to inch nails. Uh, yeah yeah watching it again <laughs> probably this week because put on some makeup how, some I eyeliner it was yeah right yeah. dressed in all black all week yep absolutely let's do it yeah yeah you won't scare the kids not you <laughs> not it's not halloween yet <laughs> Oh, all man. right. All right. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. If you have not seen The Crow, please, please mm -hmm. watch it. Let us know what you think. Let us know what you think of the review. And we appreciate you tuning in. I've been your host, Gagne. With me, as always, Naldo. And we've been FYC Film Review. Have a good one, everybody. Go watch this movie. Go watch this movie. FYC recommends it. Go watch it right now. Turn us off and go watch it. Just spectacular. Talk to you later.